welcome back to my channel, Make Up Your Mood. Today's video is going to focus on my go-to look. And it is something that I revert back to um, whenever I need to. It's something so easy now to me that I can do it in such a quick um, span of time to get ready. It does require a lot of makeup, but honestly, I've been doing it for so long now that it's so quick for me. And it's something that falls under the category of, um, it's very confident. I feel super confident in it. I feel powerful, um, very professional also very um, endearing. It's a look that is very versatile. It can be it can be worn anywhere pretty much. Um, it's a nude eye with a slight cut crease. When I say slight I mean it is a super blended up cut crease and a wing liner. It is something that you can wear anywhere and everywhere. Um, if you're ever caught in a position where you don't know what look to go for, I would highly recommend it. And it's super confident. So I absolutely love it and you'll probably catch me either a lot on my social media or Instagram or even in person wearing this look. So um, yeah, I would suggest try it out. Tell me how you feel in it. I feel super confident and I'm happy with that look. So to begin, I've already prepped and primed, concealed, foundation, contoured my face as well as put on my brows. So we're ready to jump right into my makeup look, which is focused mainly on my eyes. Um, so yeah, why don't you guys just prep your skin, get all ready, do your brows, and we can get right into it in about a millisecond. And yeah, so here we go. I hope you guys primed your lids um, before we begin this look. It is very important to prime your lids so that the shadows do adhere to it and really blend really well on top and they become extra vibrant. I use the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot, Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and then I went on top and I sweeped Force of Nature from the Tartlet Palette just to set it. Um, the majority of my look will be coming from the Tartlet Palette. From the Tartlet Palette. Um, it's honestly my go-to palette. I love it to death. Love it, love it. I think I'm gonna need a new one soon. So I might be making a trip to Sephora very soon. So the first thing in my go-to look is going to be um, kind of drawing in that cut crease that I want right over here. You'll see it on the side too. Right over here where my crease is. So I'm gonna go in using um, Natural Beauty from the Tartlet palette and I'm gonna go and use my Morphe M522 brush and I'm just gonna sweep it right at my crease. Then I'm gonna sweep Force of Nature right on top to blend out that crease. I told you it's gonna be super soft. I like to drag Natural Beauty right to the corner. Just to create that like frame. And on the inside of my main lid, I'm gonna go in using um, Super Mom from the same palette right over there. I'm gonna dab it in. I'm using my Morphe M210 brush. I'm just going to sweep it right on the center and drag it out. I'm also going to sweep Super Mom right onto my um, arch of my brow. I'm going to use the same brush just to make it all balanced. And I'm just gonna go back in using that M, nope, using my M522 with the crease and just kind of blend that. So there you have it, those are the shadows um, for my lids. Very simple, very quick, very easy. Um, I believe I only use like three colors on my lids. Um, and you can see it's very light. It's definitely super versatile. So now we're gonna move on to our liner. Um, the, the products that I'm going to use today, there's going to be three and I'm going to tell you why, okay? So we're going to start off using Maybelline Master Precise. Um, I love it to create the line that I want to use. Then I'm going to go in to perfect it using my Tactical Liner Trooper from Kat Von D. And to make that, 
that wing really precise and sharp, I'm gonna go in using the Kat Von D Autograph Liner. I know there's a lot of steps, but I really, really love to have the perfect liner. You will notice. So let's just go on in. We're gonna start in with our Maybelline Master Precise. Um, and we're gonna start from the inner corners and work our way out. So I'm just gonna use this so you guys can see. I'm going to go on in with my Kat Von D Trooper Liner, the ink liner that I really love. It has a hair tip, which works out so perfectly. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner all done. You can see it's a wing liner. I did go in with my autograph liner and just fix up the ticks. Um, on my wings and now we're gonna move on to just adding a little pop of color to the inner corners of my lids or inner corners of my eyes um, I'm gonna go using my Morphe brushes 35U palette um, the color that I have chosen is this like goldy color and I'm gonna go in using my Real Techniques accent brush just put a little bit on my brush and add it to the one of the lashes to the inner corners. And I'm going to add a little bit of blush onto my cheeks. I've picked the Maybelline Master Highlight. It is a highlighting bronzer in number 50, light bronze. And I'm just going to use my, um, oh my golly, my Real Techniques blush brush. Just add to me of my cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in using my Becca Champagne Pop um, and using my 122 Sephora Pro Brush. I'm just going to press and sweep. Press and sweep. So it is on my nose. I'm going to keep it spell. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is my life. And there you go. And now we're going to do our lip color, which is a color I always use and I always go to with this look. It just happens to be. Um, you can definitely switch up your lip color to anything. Anything will go with this eyes. But for my go-to, I'm going to complete it using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in... Um, I believe Veronica. Yeah, Veronica. I've put a little bit of foundation on my lips just to make sure that the liquid lipstick will stick and stay on super long. And yeah, I'm not going to use any lip liner. I'm just going to go straight ahead with my liquid lipstick. So this is my go-to look for you guys today, um, a really nice no, new taupe lid with winged liner, a really nice bold lip. You guys can always experiment with the lip colors, definitely it's infinite with this lid and this, this look. And yeah, for, oh, and I wanted to mention to you guys is that I have false lashes on. So um, if I didn't have them, I would definitely opt for some strip lashes, so go ahead Again, any strip lash will work for this. I like the ones that are really long and um, just adds oomph, nothing too crazy. Just something a little more on the natural side, as natural as it can get. But yeah, that's the look for you guys today. I'm going to list all the products I use in this video down below, including the tools I used. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!